Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna start working on a new sensor that is SHT30. Now, to have a better perspective of this sensor, let's move on to the website that is controleverything.com and here search on for this sensor that is SHT30. And let's find out what this about. As you can see, it's a humidity and temperature sensor. It's a mini module. And these are some of its features. Also, you can have the sensor and you can purchase the sensor from here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing the humidity and temperature sensor SHT30 with a particle photon and for that I require a code. So go to resource tab and here comes the particle code sample. Now you can download the code sample as a zip file from here like this. Also you can have the privilege to download the code from github repository that is control everything community on the website github.com. Now what do we require is to collect some hardware so that we can make some connections for the working. Let's have it. Now coming to the hardware section, first of all we require a particle photon which you are able to see on my screen. Next this is Zen I2C shield. It's available on the website controleverything.com and the reason we are implementing the use is to make connections with other I2C hardware. It will be a lot easier so that's why we are using it. Now gently press over the particle photon over the I2C shield and make this connection. Next we require our sensor that is SHT30 humidity and temperature sensor and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly for the I2C shield also. Next we require to power up our particle photon and for that we require a micro USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack and we are done. Now what we require is to have a look over the particle code so that we can interface the sensor with that and let's have it. Now for the interfacing of the particle code, let's move on to the website that is github.com and here what we require is to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Now there you go and here search for the sensor SHT30 and here are we and this is a particle code. But before that, let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code. And it says that we have to log into Particle Photon and set up the device. And this link will help us uh, or guide us through the setup process. As you can see, all the relevant information is provided on this very link. Please note it down. Next, we have to download or get pull the code. And on the online ID, we have to copy the code and build dot particle is the online ID where we have to copy paste and save the code as you can see here just like that. The last part is to verify and flash the code on the particle photon and the code output will be displayed in the form of logs at dashboard and this is the dashboard dot particle link user logs which will have the output results on the screen here. Now what we require is to have a look over the particle code and let's see it, explore it. It's a .in extension file as you can see and first of all in the code we see that we have included application.h and spark wiring i2c.h header files and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x44. Now we have some initialized some variables here and also here. In the void setup function we have initialized i2c communication as master along with serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600. Next, in the void loop function, we are sending some data. As you can see, we are sending 16-bit command byte writing address is 0x2c, 0x0c as you can see. And then we are reading the data. We are requesting and reading 6 bytes of data as you can see for temperature and humidity. And here comes the conversion of the data for both humidity and temperature which is according to the guidelines provided in the data sheet for SHT30. At the very end of our code, we have the output data to be displayed on the dashboard which is temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit along with the relative humidity in percentage RH. So this is how our code looks like for the particle for SHT30. Now what we require is to have the practicality of this code, the working. Let's have it. Now coming to the working environment, first of all the job is to copy this entire code of the particle for the sensor SHT30 now open up the build terminal as we have discussed earlier and here we have to create a new file here paste the code and here save it SHT30 
and then save it then verify and compile the code now flash the code while flashing the code we have to check for the magenta flash which will confirm the code is good to go and sure did we have it and yes now we have the magenta and the successful notification is at the bottom of the code as you can see on my screen now what do we require is to open up the dashboard link so that we can have the output to be displayed on the screen so we have the relative humidity and temperature in celsius and fahrenheit now when i apply my finger over the sensor you can notice the change in relative humidity and temperature in celsius and fahrenheit So the changes are there on the screen. So this is how the sensor responds to the particle code and the particle photon. Now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits, the features and the applications for the sensor, humidity and temperature sensor SHT30. SHT30 is the next generation of humidity and temperature sensors. It has fully calibrated, linearized and temperature compensated digital output. It has high reliability and long-term stability. These features make it very useful for a lot of applications like home appliances, IoT, industries, automobiles and a lot more. This sensor can be purchased from the website controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file. Also from github.com you can download the code from the repository that is Control Everything community. In the end, I would just like to make it clear that for further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and post your comments on the community page. For articles and blogs, go to our instructables.com page and for subscription of more videos like this, go to our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a lot fun yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.